What is going on TGG family? It is Poke Collector NYC here back again with another video. I know I've been doing quite a few shorts. Um, it's just mainly um, due to the fact that Lost Origins taking forever to get here. We've opened all our Pokemon Go product. Um, no Dragon Ball sets been coming out. So hopefully we can get some new TCGs in here or new product in here as soon as possible. But we have a new TCG called a Korra, which we dis I discovered through uh, Whatnot. Um, don't really know too much about the set. I know it's a Japanese-based set in terms of Japanese characters and whatnot. But I want to see if we can open up a booster box, see what the artwork looks like, and, um, and have some fun with the new TCG. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and smashing that like button. So I do know that you are looking for some generational rares, some full arts, some shards, some of those are some of the characters that you'll be looking at. Uh, when they ship it to you, it does come in this really cool case, so I am very excited and super, um, you know, the case is, uh, is uh, okay quality, but it's it's very cool because it fits the TCG, like literally the booster box uh, perfectly. Um, but let's see what we could pull here um, in today's video. I'm only gonna open it up like this. Shout out to Blue EX for being a Patreon member. Um, if you are interested in being a Patreon member and getting some free hits from any of the TCGs that we do pull on the channel, go check out our Patreon link below. Okay, so uh, probably wasn't the best way to do this, but we are going to, there you go. I guess that's okay, okay, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, you know what, why don't we just take it out? Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, we already opened a booster box. Not doing the best with this, but we're learning. Okay, cool. Um, so the booster box is now opened. Yay. I guess we can keep it in the case. We can keep it in the case. It's fine. All right, so there's 36 packs in total. Um, there is also a box topper, which could contain... They also have serialized cards and full arts potentially in these box toppers, so we'll leave that toward the end. Um, we'll start with the left side. The great thing is the ratios of... There is uh, potentially uh, quite a few hollows. Um, or holographics in each booster box. I think the average is like four, anywhere between uh, 14 to 18 out of the 36. I don't know if that's including the shard ratio. Not sure off the top of my head. The card quality feels amazing. I do like that. Um, and we'll get into it. I mean, we'll probably uh, start slow so we can appreciate some of the artworks that come in this set. Um, I did get a few boxes, which are, some of them will be um, kind of auction off on whatnot. And our first one is, there you go, uh, Orokana Suriza, full hollow, I mean hollow. So that's what those, these are gonna look like. Um, we, we do two from the back because the card trick is two from the back. Um, also, these are a little hard to open, but I try to open them as easy as possible. The second to last card, once we do the card trick, is also a rare, like a non-hollow rare. I guess I would say, or it's, I don't know. Actually, to be fair, I'm not sure. Lost Atlantis and Wild Calling is our hit there. Um, yeah, just looking to appreciate new TCGs, what's new out there. I mean, there are a bunch of, not a bunch of new ones, but you know, we do we do openings here with like Dragon Ball, with like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. But we, you know, if there's new ones that are out there, we try to see if there's anything that will... I don't know, maybe it really, be really cool. I mean, this is a TCG channel, so just trying to, ooh, Ice Red, which, that, we're looking for full hollows of those. Those are really, like a like a hollow of those. Those would be really, like, really cool to open. Dragon's Retribution, and Kyoto Unaburu is our hollow. So like you can say, like I said, there's a, hopefully a 50% ratio. If there's not, we're hoping for like huge full arts in the set. Um, or generational rare. I've seen some some of them on eBay uh, go for quite a bit of money. So we are looking at some of these things. Zeru Akai, Changing of the Tide, Channeling, Zace Cage, Magna Takina, which is our rare, and Kuzu's Gift. That's such a cute card. Some of these cards are really cool. I mean, they're, uh, like I said, uh, I heard the TCG is from a gameplay perspective. Like I, I you know, a lot of people here in New York are raving about it. You know, I saw this from one of my friends at the card shops. 
I watched a couple videos, seen a couple on whatnot, and was very interested in seeing... Ooh, Nature Relic Shard. I actually don't even know if we have that one. I'll have to put that at the side. Wounded, Zay Cage, Changing the Tide, Kami, Kuzu, Kyojin, Okada. I think that's a new card. And Jinsoko and Juden, which I think is... A... Oh, let's look at it. We got back-to-back -back holiday. That's actually pretty cool. All right, we're rolling through these. We're rolling through these. We were rolling through these. The packs are a little hard to open without scissors. I will tell you that much. But that's okay. It keeps the card secure. I think it keeps the card secure. That's a... Ooh, Dark Relic Shard. Very nice. Yeah, the shards are very cool. Uh, beautiful in, uh, like, in full hollow form. There is a number of cards here that are definitely very cool. And then there's a non hollow version of that one. Um, which is kind of very interesting to see back to back. Both the cards in the non hollow and hollow form. It reminds me of MetaZoo because MetaZoo does the same thing in with their gold rarities uh, for the most part, except for like specific cards in the set, which we'll recall like the Wild 7 or something like that. Um, but let me know what you think about this DCG so far. Have you seen some videos about it? Do you know about the DCG? Comment in the section below. Uh, Solar Burst, Gallo Staff, non hollow, and then a Mount Hain. Hollow. I don't even know if we have that card in full hollow, so that's actually really good. Let's see what else we get. Let's see what else we get. All right, we're going to use the scissors from now on because it'll make the uh, this a little bit easier. Electric Touch, Dragon Shield. Ooh, back to back. Some some packs may have literally two of the same card. That's okay, um, especially if you're trying to complete your decks or just in general. Catastrophe. Uh, you know, looking to put one in a binder and then one in your deck. I don't know. Whatever floats. Whatever you desire when you collect TCGs. For me, I'm trying to create that master set. I do, I do know that. Maybe I'll do a video on that one. Bottled Lightning, Moku, Unaburu, Akai. I am looking for some great full arts in this one. Let's see. Can we get it? Hey, Surizu's Encore. Again, another hollow I have not seen. There are plenty of hollows in here that I just, I'm not aware of. Like, I'm literally, I think it's the third, no, this is like the fifth box we're opening and I've never even seen some of the hollows we're pulling now, which is amazing. I mean, it's a very large first edition. This is all, by the way, a core of first edition. There is a Kickstarter version as well, but there are a lot of cards in this set. I think it's like over 200. Uh, the Abyss is the uh, rare. I don't even know how many packs we're in at this point. We have not seen our first shard yet. I have not seen any uh, full arts either, but we should be able to get some. Kiko, Moku, Zara, Kabu, Expedition, Not Today. Magnufuru, and our rare is Ocean's Cry. All right. We're not halfway through yet, which is literally amazing um, because there's 36 packs. It reminds me of a... A booster box of Pokemon, essentially, right? Because uh, and Metazoo, you get 24 packs, um, so that's a little different. Hakai Hiko, uh, chasing lightning light, which I don't even know if we have. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to like figure out which cards we have in our master set. And Magna Athenium, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, okay, let's do. I'm just trying to, cause I can feel the cards. I don't want to like. Obviously, I'm going to pull them out. All right, let's do this. Ooh, Electric Shard, Frost Fangs. That's a new one as well. Token Goodbye, Dragon Shield, Yoki, Hisu, Kawasi, Spirit Token. And I think this is our rare. Awoken Dragon. Now, this is what you want in like a like full art. That's a very good one. That's awesome that we have. I think it's the only second one we've ever pulled. I'm literally saving this one because it's cool. Uh... That's just because it's me. All right, come on, come on. Full art or shard, we are due. Definitely due for something here. Uh, Scorch Earth, Wounded Wing, Scorch Earth again. Token Gesture, Vaccine, Zeiss, Zeiss Dekina. High Tide, Justice for Kuzu, and Yoki Sukuroto, Sukodo. Very, very, I try to uh, just, you know, like, Say them in their uh, their Japanese name as best as I can. 
Um, I did take Japanese for three years, so I can at least try to get pronunciations to the best of my abilities. Ooh, we may have something there. I don't know. Thundercry. Waterfall. Okay, we definitely see some new cards in this one. Leaf Fast Shield. Rain of Fire. Kawasu Unaburu. Frozen Wall. And Divine Altar. Do we finally have something here? Dark Relic Shard. There you go. Look at that. That is a beauty of a shard right there. So these are what the full hollow shards would look like. Or full art shards right there. That is beautiful. Um, very nice. Very nice. I don't know the values of these. I haven't looked at comps. But we are down to the last three on this side. Hopefully we get a full art or a generational out of this side. Or maybe even that means it'll be even more exciting when we get to the right side. I don't know. All right. Let's go through this a little bit faster now that we have the um, chase out of the left side. Sub-Zero. This, this in a full hollow would be amazing. I am going to put the bulk, starting putting the bulk in that, that right left side here. That way we can at least get everything organized and get onto the right side excitingly. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Got two more packs on this side. I know this is a very long video, but it is the first time we are opening this TCG. So I want to make sure the Sleeping Dragon, uh, we give it its due diligence. Kawaii, Kyoto, Unaburu. And Catastrophe Hollow. Okay, we don't have that one. Or maybe we pulled that one earlier today. I actually don't remember. Because um, it was definitely... We'll look at the full hollow, or the hollow count and see out of 18 packs how many we got. Uh, zero. Ice Relic Shard. Very nice, very nice. Hot Sauce. Yari. What number is Hot Sauce? 84. We might actually need that. Uh, Divine Blade and Magno Kiko, which is 105. Oh, I actually don't know if we have those a rare. All right. So let's see, let's count it out real quick before we kind of uh, go into the second half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, actually, we only got nine hollows. I didn't realize we only got nine hollows. So it's actually below, well, no, nine is exactly half of 18. I don't even know why I said it. It's actually 50%. So we did actually really well. All right, let's move on to the second half and see what we could do here. Maybe we'll do this one a little bit quicker because we kind of uh, already seen most of the artwork or most of the comments, what they're going to look like. I mean, what do you think of the artwork? I mean, Yoki, I think these are pretty cool. I think these are just going to be a nice little collection. Oh, Woken Dragon and Beast Within. Cool. I can see myself collecting more of this first edition just because I want to complete a master set, but that's just me. That's just me. Ooh, look at that. Akai, Roser. Ooh, Relic Shard. Stone of Akora. Ooh, there could be something back here. Akai, Hain. Hey, look at that. That in a full art is amazing as well. And Ancient Tree. Nice. We're already starting with our hollow counts. All right. Let's get the next one. Ooh, Divine Relic Shard. That's very cool. We actually are missing a few shards in our master set. Suzura's Encore, which you have not seen in a non-hollow yet. I think we got the full hollow earlier. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Still very early on. There should be a hollow in this one, but we'll see. Let's see, let's see. Doku, Arch, Tomb of the Damned, Explosion, which we've seen in a hollow. And Blood Moon. See, we did get a hollow. Uh, that was pretty cool. I think I've seen that one before, though. Not in this video, but... Okay. We're still missing a shard and potentially a full art. Hopefully, this, it's generational. Now, gener I won't know if it's generational until I kind of, like, look at, like, uh, look a little bit more and do a little bit more research online. A seal of production. That is also something I've never seen. I am literally trying to skip to Demon Gate and Hot Cold. Was that back to back? No, yeah, it was. No, it's not back to back hollows. I was always like, is that back to back hollows? All right, where'd you get? We're digging through these. We are digging through these. Let's see what we got here. 
Spirit Token die, and Holy Judgment. All right, yeah, that was uh, that's back in the order. It's I'm pretty sure it's like every other pack. We are opening them because there are still there's still a chance. Uh, obviously, uh, you can't really know truly this full statistic of this until you do like a bunch of openings. But even then, the variables is still the variables. Divine Sphere. Okay, that's very cool. Plus, you gotta factor in the full arts, the divine shard, stuff like that. Suzita's Orchard. There should be a non hollow in here. Let's find out. Citadel's Guard and Magna Cage. That's a very good non hollow to get. There are a couple of cards, like Magna Cage is literally like the artwork. All right. Few more cards here. What are we gonna get? Spirit token and time reversal. All right. Oops, hang on one sec, chat. Sorry about that, I had an incoming call mid-session, so I was had to take that call. But let's get into this. I don't even know where we were left off there. All right, there you go, non-holo, ooh. I actually don't have that card, so I will take that. We're getting down to the last couple packs. We still haven't seen a shard or a full art, which is not guaranteed, but at the same time, I really kind of hope there is, to be honest with you. A Magnet Cage Hollow. Ooh, look at that. There are a lot of cards I'm not seeing for the first time, which is actually really good. I'm not kidding. All right. Hopefully there's something in this one. And there is not. Afukobu and Dark Bidding. That's also a new card. All right, handful of packs left. Again, it's literally the last bit here. Let's see what we could do. A Kojima Sokoi. I have seen this card before. Nice full hollow. There's only like a very few mod packs left. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just a shirt. Okay, it's just uh, I was just trying to figure that out. Moku Hain and Zade Blade Exiler. I'm get. Oh man, we're literally down to the last three packs. I'm getting worried we might get not get a full art, which is going to be highly disappointing. But we'll see. It's the name of the game. That's why you open up boxes, right? There's no way we just get one shard as well. A Ancient Calling. Again, new card I've never seen. I think you can. Two packs left. Oh, please give me at least one cool full art. Ma Mount Hain and Spirit Token Dia. Oh my gosh. We're literally down to the last pack. This box topper better be amazing. Well. Or we get a serialized card. The serialized cards would be cool too, if we got that. Oh, well, we got something here. We easily got something here. I just don't know what it is now. Now we're gonna do this literally last pack magic. Electric Touch, Power of the Mind, Kuzu, Tekina, Water Relic Sard, Dragon Champion, End of Eternity, Spirit Bomb. Okay. Ooh, okay, here we go. Ooh, what is this? It's Yachty Ken. Full art. I actually never seen this card. And I actually don't know anything about this card, but this is definitely super awesome to pull Yari Ken with her spear. I don't even know what uh rare. Actually that's we even see, have we even seen that one in a rare? Like the rare of it? Yari Ken? Oh there we did. I actually see it here. Yari Ken. 196. So basically, it's a full art version of this card, which is actually very amazing. Pretty sure this is just a full art. So we did pull, uh, we only pulled one shard, interestingly enough, as well. Beautiful, beautiful card. So that's what the full arts look like. And then that's what the full art shard looks like. 
Let's see what the box chopper is. It does come in one of seven, contain one of seven, but you could also pull a full art, a serialized card or something like that as well in here. But what do we think we're gonna pull? I kind of see reflection, but I kind of want to see what it is too. All right. I don't want to damage the card, come on. All right, what do we think it's gonna be? It's probably gonna be one of the original seven and not a full art if we got a full art in the um, in the box, but you know, it's always fun to open. Three, two, one, and oh! Oh wow, we got a full art. Oh my God, we got a Magna Takina. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Was not expecting that in there. Oh, this is well worth opening the box. Wow, wow, wow. This So the box toppers are no normally not the full hollow ones. There is like a very small chance of you pulling a full art in there. Oh my gosh, it's not the serialized one, but I will take it. What a great opening. Well, listen, well, let me know what you think about the artwork, about the TCG. Thanks everybody for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing that like button. This is Poke Collector NYC, and a Cora is definitely something to look out for. We'll see you next time.